everybody, welcome back to another Willis Awesome video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is a Valentine's Day special build today. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. We're going to be building this awesome and cute looking teddy bear for everyone's kind of Valentine's Day worlds, I guess. Or even just your random world who you want to add a teddy bear to. So, let's go ahead and build this. So, we're going to need some materials like these. We're going to need some stripped birch wood. We're going to need some black wool for his eyes and nose up there. We're also going to need some smooth sandstone as well as some red concrete for that lovely looking heart in the middle and some red wool for the actual teddy bear's design. Um, now this is supposed to represent like a fluffy teddy bear, but of course some wood here is not exactly soft, so using the stripped birch just looks very, very cute and cuddly, so that's what we're trying to go for here. Let's go ahead and build this thing over in this nice gap over here. Now the first thing you want to do for your teddy bear is you want to take your stripped birch wood and you want to go one, two, three, four, along like so. Then you want to leave a little gap and you want to go for, well leave a one block gap. Just like this, you want to go another four, just like so. And then we're going to make this go up by four as well. So this has already got the one, one, two, three on top. So that becomes a four block shape and exact same over here. And then the exact same over here and here. Then we're going to go in a bit like this, leave a gap and go along. Then do the exact same for the other one over here. Then we're going to fill the section in with some red wool in this lovely gap, just like so. There we go. Then we need to go up by another block, but this one goes up by five back here, just behind the foot. And then we'll do it for the other side as well, like so. Five, then we want to go up by good old amount. We're going to go up by about six, and we're going to make it about, hmm, let's go about by about six. We're going to go about seven, eight, nine, and nine. Yeah, nine will do. Nine will do for now. And then we're going to do nine again. Make sure it's in line with your other one. We can always like chop these down a little bit if they're a bit too tall as of this time. But I think it's going to look okay. Um, as you can see here, this is where the kind of ninth one is. This is what we're going for just here, this block. This is actually an attempt. Uh, and you can see this goes up all the way into kind of the back of the teddy. And his arms are very, very big. So they can hold that heart at the front because it looks quite heavy to be fair. So that's what we're trying to achieve. So as you can see, we're on the ninth one over here. This is what we got. Obviously, this one is a little bit further out than the other one, so we're just kind of referring back and forth. Not too much, though, just so it doesn't get boring, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, next one we want to do is we want to go one, two, three. So we're going to make this shape on the back. This is actually going to be five blocks long, so we not actually we need to add two like this. So the base of it is going to be like five blocks, so one, two, three, four, five. And make sure you have the exact same on the opposite side, because you want to get the same sort of feet going for you. Then we're going to take a little sp step back chopping off this little corner here and going along like this for the diameter of the feet there as well so this goes along by six blocks so one two three four five six seven my bad seven blocks and there we have it so now what we need to do is we're going to make these go up by ten so one that's two three four five six seven eight nine and ten this is a very tall teddy ten is literally just a block above that ninth and then we're going to make this one exact same just like so and on the back here, we can go we can go up by eight on these end ones. So just two blocks down from this tenth, of course. So there, that's perfect. The exact same over here. Of course, we need to make this ten. My bad, almost forgot. So there we go. Okay, so two blocks away from the top of the ten. There we go, that's perfect. And then in the middle section, for these other five blocks, we're going to make these go up by nine. Like this now the stripped birch can be a little bit awkward sometimes it does go into weird directions it goes a bit like wonky wherever it wants to go really um, if you guys wanted to make sure it goes all the same way it really doesn't matter to me as much um, but if you guys feel like that's something you need for your tutorial feel free to do it absolutely as you can see here this is what I mean so this one goes like this way and these just go up you know it's kind of a weird thing that the, the wood does but it looks pretty cool nonetheless so there we have it, that's looking great. Now what we need to do is actually in this, where you can see the heart here, the teddy does actually have this belly, but you just don't really see it because the arms are covering it up as well as the actual heart itself. So the teddy, the teddy itself is hollow on the inside, but it is actually kind of complete on this side as well, just behind the heart. You can probably see, if we just chop a little bit down, there you go, look, there is actually blocks there. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to go for, in between the feet here, we're going to go up three with our, uh, just our block of uh, birch there. We're going to go up by one diagonal, 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 and diagonal. So basically, we're going to go get our sandstone and we're going to go one there, up one, and up one again. Knock these two off. Actually, we should have left them. Never mind. Just so we can do that. 
there we are like so so you should have this kind of v shape in the middle here and this kind of goes down into a point just here in between the feet so that looks great and that's supposed to represent his kind of stomach stuffing as it were because he's a uh, quite a fluffy teddy as you guys know so what we need to do next is take our red concrete for our heart we're going to go two out from the actual body of the the uh, bear almost called a bunny <laughs> and this needs to be basically overhanging the feet bush just by one block like that then we're going to do this so make a three block shape this comes out like that by three blocks and then we're going to go up another one on either side and fill in the center module just there but then on this next one what we need to do let me just go and check this quickly so this goes up by three as you can see on these points and then it goes round onto this shape over here so what we need to do is make sure we have that design so these ones need to go up by three making sure we have the three and then we can just alter this accordingly so these go up by two like that so you should have this point over here it's like four blocks and then we're going to stick another one in the middle and then we're going to do the exact same as that one over on the side it's a very big heart for a very big teddy there we go that's perfect look at that that's pretty cute all right next one now what we can do is actually kind of fill around the the heart here because as you can see there's some blocks here and we haven't quite got around to finish in so if we just build that up on that side and do the same on this side there we go make sure that's filled up of course the wood is doing its own thing but that's cool do whatever it wants it's cool and now we're at the tenth block so you can see we're on this ninth block row going around this bit and this is where the neck kind of matches up to the body so we need to try and achieve that so what we're going to do next is we're on our tenth one over here which is great we actually have the arms the arms do kind of stick out a little bit they're a little bit awkward sometimes to get used to um, but what this is it literally just goes out two blocks just from the back here so this literally here uh, maybe one more yeah one more block higher just so it matches up with this kind of bit going up so you need to make sure this is in line and we're going to go along by three like so just like this and then it kind of goes in a block and in a block and then in a block so here goes in this one is already in here oops here it goes in and then it goes out until it reaches that which is awesome which is what it's doing now you can do the same on this side so make sure it goes around the corner and then up to this bit and then up to the actual back there but this obviously comes out another three like this is kind of bunched up twice underside so we mean to make sure this is doing the same like this now that is a little bit confusing i do know that is quite a little bit of a confusing bit this is probably the most confusing part of the build so what we're going to do is just going to recap quickly so as the heart is here we want to join up two across from the heart and where we built that huge tower in the middle then we're going to go out and make this strange looking kind of l shape just here and these go down by two blocks by the way guys and then back here we're just going to bunch up three blocks of two high like that just on the sides and then the exact opposite for this side so if you want to pause the video here and just have this just to refer to a second that is totally cool by me it, it definitely helps you guys out and it would definitely be good for you guys to hopefully do this tutorial now the next thing we want to do is obviously of course we need to build this section here which you can see just here is going going down so we need to make these join up like this then what we're going to do is we're going to take ourselves the perfect so we're going to knock these blocks through and we're going to oops my bad ah there we go my bad <laughs> we're going to join up this so it looks like that so you got this weird l then we go along by one two three four five like that in the middle so you have this kind of middle section and then it goes around to an l like this side like so next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our kind of block of 10 over here and we're just going to add two to it going inside the body like this and we're going to make sure this block just fills in the same with this one we're going to group this up so this block never actually touches the back of the head as you can see there's a gap there and then what we need to do next is we need to make sure we have this block basically stationary in the middle so we're going to just bunch these up make sure these connect up like so then what we're going to do next is we're going to take our birch again we're going to overhang this one more block over like that then we're going to do the same on the corner we're going to do the same on the opposite corner and now we can bring this block back by about four blocks so that's two three and four two well that's three and then four and then this just joins up with the back like that that's looking great what we're going to do next is we're just going to go along except this one just jumps over that block on the corner there like that so we can have this little 
kind of block overhanging it's not really got a connection to it then we just want to fill this over and don't worry too much about the little mouth there at the moment we're going to come back to that in a second once we have the, the main shape of our teddy going for us so as you can see what we need to achieve is five blocks going on the corners and then this is supposed to be about seven blocks high in length so we need to make sure we have the five blocks so we've got one two three four and five two three four five of course the same it's pretty similar on the back so this definitely goes up by about five blocks well actually it's a bit more than that because obviously we have this block down here so two three four five six for this one so only a block block in it really it's just where we haven't got that one on the front and what we can do for this bit is literally just fill it over it looks great just filled up like that and exact same over here like so and now for this bit, it looks it looks a little bit tricky because I forgot to fill in that block. There we go, that's my bad. Um, this one literally just goes up by about five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, like so. Same on the opposite side. And this one in the middle just goes up by six. So it's not too too tricky, but it can get a little bit confusing. So we will actually knock that block off from the top. And then we're going to make this one go up to six, just up to here. There we go. For five blocks on the back of the head. Like so. Awesome, and we do have that line at the bottom there, which actually doesn't look too bad on this one. Wicked, I was experimenting a lot with this head, so it does look a little bit strange in some in some spots, <laughs> but it's not too bad. Okay, so we have our five blocks going up the side, one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Excuse my throat, guys. And then we're going to make this one go up another block. We might have to do the same in the back. Maybe I've just made a little bit of a mistake there. We'll have to go check that out in a second. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's perfect and maybe I have done the same on the back yes okay so what we need to do make these six and this one goes seven that's my fault um, yeah it's because the ears there that's my bad right okay cool all right next thing we want to do guys is we're gonna go one block up from the base just here I'm gonna make this go along with three lots of smooth sandstone then we're gonna go up and up so it makes a U shape and then to fill it over in this block, we're just going to stick a one piece of black wool in there. Now we want to stick an eye just there and an eye just there. Just one block above the um, the actual kind of nose here, which looks really, really cute. And now for this one, we just wanted to check this is the same height. So two, it needs to be away from the actual head. So that's perfect. We just use this marker. So we're just going to get rid of that. And then we're going to get rid of this one as well, just to make sure these are both the same because we don't want any mistakes in this tutorial. There we are. Whoa. He says making a mistake. There we go. That's fine. So now again for another little tricky section. So if you guys do need to pause the video at any point, it's absolutely cool. What we're going to do is we're going to take our red wool and we're going to go one, two, three, like this. We're going to do the exact same on the opposite side. One, two, three, like so. These are for the ears. Then we're going to go up by three blocks, as you can see just here. And then there's a two on there. So one there, two, and then three. And then we need to make a two block, two block high of three. So giving our three on the corner there. It's perfect. And then we just want to bunch it over like that. Amazing. And then we just want to fill it over so it has a bit of a marker with our birch like this. So it has a little bit of a dividing from the actual, just the red and then the birch for the actual body of the, the build. This looks cool. All right, there we go. Nice one. And then of course, we're just going to add one block over on the top here and we can just fill this bit in the section this bit of the head section in like so i hope you guys did find this tutorial easy enough to follow i did try and make it as easy as possible i've just realized you want to you maybe want to add just a couple more blocks just around like that and then maybe just like that if you wanted to keep the the arms quite wide like that and not so much kind of flowing into the body like a pyramid you could totally do it's absolutely fine but if you enjoyed this yeah that is uh that is basically what we want to go for just these little blocks in the corners to make it flow with the build my my bad anyway <laughs> i hope you can forgive me have an awesome valentine's day anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did definitely smash a big like that'd be awesome it definitely helps the channel out super super much super super much don't think that makes sense but so much you know what i'm saying hopefully my minecraft guy can explain stuff better than i can um yeah, thank you so much once again for watching. Really do hope you have an awesome day. And definitely, definitely consider subscribing if you want to see more of my tutorials in the future. Have an awesome one, guys. Take it easy. Goodbye for now. Thanks a lot for watching.